to decarbonize electrical grid for the past 40 years. The French nuclear plants today, and this is not part of my speech, but I, I hear it's important, and we have to listen to people and answer the questions they have. So I'm adding this to my speech. The French nuclear power plants today are at slightly more than half the uh, usual availability, which is still more, even this summer, than all the other sources of energy combined. Um, the French nuclear power plant today have meet a couple issues. The first one is they've been supporting the entirety of the European grid for all the COVID phase. And so today, they have pushed back during COVID all of their maintenance works, all the prolongation work for lasting longer and supporting the European grid longer. What you need to know is that thanks to the French nuclear fleet, the European power grid is stabilized first because it has a lot of inertia and also it brings down the overall European covered footprint 30% down. 30% down, three zero percent. So it has been there when everyone was locked in at home and needed power for communication, for work, for light, for heating, for water, for everything, for hospitals, of course, and education. The French nuclear power plant have another issue. They have a corrosion issue. You've heard about it. It's a tiny little crack on the newest plants that don't have anything to do with them being old. It's a new metallurgical uh, technique that was used, and it's on a pipe that's not being used. These are, those are preventive measures. They've been cut down for testing. Most of them are found having nothing, and the other ones, the safety regulations, I said, well, you know, you can go on, but since you've cracked them to check and test, now you have to repair them back and wait and put them back online. So essentially, that means everything is okay. And the third reason why you have nuclear power plants in France that are down today is because they're saving up on fuel because they don't want to have to recharge their fuels during the winter when all of you guys are going to need it as well. And let me tell you something, because I'm being solicited regularly these days by the Swiss. Who knows why the Swiss? There will be a vocation. Who knows why are the Swiss particularly soliciting us and myself these days? I'll give you the answer, because the Swiss are not in the European Union, and as of the treaties of the European Union, they are not priority in the energy solidarity that's going to have to take place when this winter, already now, the winter is here now, everyone is going to want to rely on every single bit of nuclear power that France can provide. This is why they wear it. They wear it because they're not going to be first in line, and that's the first time ever it happens. And I think it's a good moment. Oh, and I promised it was going to be a short speech. It's already way too long. The, uh, and, and then I'll read it, so I'll make sure that it's, it's, it's right on time. So the actual speech, and you understand why, is that France, that I represent today, um, very proudly, by the way. Thank you. Um, but also Poland. Also Austria, also Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Belgium, the Czech Republic, Denmark, all those are neighbors of Germany. The EU neighbors. This is us. We are amongst you. We share borders, we share culture, we share values, history, a future, and fate. We also share markets, the air we breathe and the climate we live under. We also share the same enemy at our doors. Factor in all those who are impacted by your decisions. You can add the other EU members, you can add the Ukrainians, and you can add the future generations. Do not think you are alone. You are in the middle of us. You need us as much as we need you. So you need to ask yourselves those questions, and I'm addressing the Germans here directly, and beyond you, of course, uh, the German politicians, uh, that I understand are not following completely what your opinion is, um, if, the, if the poll numbers are right. You have to ask yourselves those questions. Why are your choices different from the ones of everyone else?
Why are they less and less compatible with ours? And is it really a good idea to save your own interest first when you know we're in it together? So the last and the real message here is please do keep those nuclear power plants open. Reopen the other ones. They work. They work. And you need them as much as we do. Thank you. Thanks, Motor Tree Party from Voices for Nuclear, Voices of Nuclear France. <laughs>